I suffer from environmental anxiety and I worry about the legacy that we're going to leave to our grandchildren. And so often it seems that uh, there's little that we can do as individuals. But I'd like to suggest how we might all uh, take some positive action ourselves. There are so many challenges, but we can build actions into our daily lives by reducing, reusing and recycling materials, by limiting our energy consumption, by using public transport and so on. But things could be improved even more if people took practical responsibility for their local areas without expecting councils or other official bodies to find all of the solutions to issues which they almost certainly won't be able to do. This may take time, effort and money, but there's only one earth and we all have to do our best to protect it. So what might we do? Well, we can all gain many benefits from being a volunteer. And I've always believed that voluntary action by members of the public is a key factor in helping to protect our urban, suburban and natural environments and the critical systems on which all life depends. For example, firstly, we might help by litter picking. Secondly, we might sweep the streets outside our own buildings. Thirdly, we might become involved with campaigns over unwanted developments. Or fourthly, we might work in open green spaces, which are very important for people's health, as well as providing habitats for plants and for other wildlife. I'm involved with the maintenance of our local nature reserve, and perhaps you can find similar opportunities in the areas where you live. People volunteering uh, with an organisation like mine uh, might enjoy helping with tasks like these. I've got some pictures here, if I can go the right direction. Um, here we are. Uh, coppicing. Uh, you might think this is a professional job, but it's very easy for volunteers to be trained in how to do this. Making dead hedges for wildlife. Maintaining meadows and orchards looking after the wildflowers in those orchards and also commissioning artwork and helping local children to produce artwork which might be then uh, displayed permanently on the, um, the local nature reserve or whichever uh, area you're working in. And also holding community events. Uh, a local nature reserve might be a place where um, a coronation event uh, or some other celebration like this might take place. So there are lots of opportunities. If places are kept clean and tidy, they attract less litter and their maintenance will become easier in the long run. Buildings may become more valuable and sought after if they're in pleasant surroundings. So I'd like to encourage you to volunteer with local groups if you don't do so already. We all find that volunteering enhances both our physical and mental, mental well-being. It develops skills and increases self-esteem. It makes us feel energised, creates a sense of pride and provides opportunities for socialising. Young people find learning opportunities and experiences which they can use on their CVs or for their Duke of Edinburgh awards, for example. Local environmental groups need more people to help them, both practically and financially, as often they have no regular sources of income to pay for materials, for fuel, or for input from contractors. You could gain great satisfaction from helping to maintain, maintain your streets or local natural habitats, which are essential for living things. Thank you.